oh, I've been trying to do this intro for so long. I feel like I'm just so cringe. Hang on, I need to drink. My mouth's dry. My mouth's dry from speaking. Ah, refreshing. We came out of focus for a second then. Don't unfocus. I'm back. Okay. I thought it was going to unfocus. So, welcome back to my channel, everybody. How are we? What's been going on in your lives? Let me know in the comments. Every time I get a sponsor, I get so excited because, as you guys know, I've talked about this before, I usually, 99% of the time, reach out to my sponsors because it's a product or a company that I really believe in and want to work with. I never work with a company that I didn't want to or didn't believe in their product. And the most amazing thing is when you use a product, you reach out to that company and be like, hey, you're willing to sponsor me? And they turn around and say, yes. They want to support you as a creator. They want to support your channel. It's just the most amazing thing. So today we're going to be talking about my life with mast cell. Um, so if you don't know, I have something called mast cell activation disorder. Basically, in short, means I'm allergic to anything and everything. So I could use something one day and then the next day use it and like be fine the first day. You know, like say I'm washing my hands with something like soap. Um, I'm fine on a Monday, I do the same thing on a Tuesday, exact same soap, and I could go into anaphylaxis. I, you know, have certain things that I just never react to, and I kind of have to have a very strict routine that I can't really stray from it too much because it's dangerous. So I thought I would kind of take you through my morning routine and show you the products that I've been loving and using. So, a huge, huge, huge thank you to today's sponsor native i've been using their products for some some time some time now well i've been using their deodorants anyway um and i absolutely love them i've got three of them and they also do like toothpaste body wash things like that that i really want to try because i've been okay with their deodorants never reacted once where a lot of the other products i use even though they're safe i have reacted to them at some point so what i love about it is the texture because it's like a very i kind of want to say like creamy texture but it's not creamy it's like i don't know what you call this texture but it's amazing but yeah i love the texture the smell's not too like in your face or anything like that it's aluminium free which i didn't even know but a lot of like underarm deodorants and things like that actually have aluminium in them it's vegan free called you vegan free Vegan, is vegan free, is that a thing? Vegan friendly, which is actually good because Tom's recently gone on like a full on plant based diet. And cruelty free, which obviously I'm a big supporter of. So it's got no aluminium, parabens, sulfate. So it's using like natural ingredients, like things that you know, like coconut oil and shea butter. Shea butter? Shea? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know, but things like that that you know of, like you know what it is. I think it's really, really important when you have something like mast cell or if you have super sensitive skin or really prone to allergies, it's really important to look after your body with like you know the best products that have good ingredients and that's what i'm like a huge believer of and you'll see that a lot in today's video when i show you the type of products and brands that i use let me come off close i started off with um natives build your own deodorant pack which is a thing now people it's a thing so these are the three you can pick three of your favorite bars i chose the cucumber and mint the coconut and vanilla and the lavender and rose um then the ones i picked i love how they make me feel dry all day you know like when you put like a wet deodorant on and then you sweat and then it gets all wet like these make me feel really dry all day especially living in such a hot country australia your beast so because i am sponsored they are generous generous enough to give me a code for you guys so if you click the link in the description you can get your very own like build your own pack so you get a pack of three bars of your choice for 30 dollars plus 20 percent off if you use my code personally i think it's worth it i spend a lot of money on products that i use on my skin on my body on my hair because I believe in using the best products and I wouldn't suggest it to you guys if I didn't believe in it and didn't think it worked. Personally, it's worked amazing for me and I really, really hope it does for you too because I know a lot of the, you out there that watch my videos, you have mast cell or other issues because I know I've seen it in the comments. So I really, really, really highly recommend this and suggest this to you guys if you are like me and struggle with allergies and anaphylaxis and things like that. So without further ado, thank you Native for sponsoring this video. All the information on how you can get your own pack and the discount code and everything like that will all be in the description so please please go check it out 
like and without further ado let's get into the video good morning everybody so i'm i'm hoping that there was like an intro to this video otherwise it's going to be kind of not making sense because you know i don't normally vlog for this channel but today we're doing something that I thought would be super helpful for people in a similar situation to myself or people who just have sensitive skin or whatever. So if you don't know, I suffer from something called mast cell activation disorder, which essentially means like the real broken down version of it is that I'm allergic to anything and everything. So next to my bed, I sleep with EpiPens and other rescue meds that I might need. Anyway, and like steroid creams and all those sorts of things that I need if I'm having a reaction. I want to do like a day in the life with my cell, but it's so hard to film reactions because you don't know when they're going to happen. You're not always going to have your camera near you. You know, you're more focused on like getting your meds or getting your cream and putting it on like your hives or your rashes. I will try and film something, but it's probably going to have to be like a week in the life and it's going to have to be multiple days that I mush together. So if you want to see something like that, maybe let me know and I can do it in the future but today we are gonna do like safe products and by safe obviously nothing is ever gonna be 100% safe I'm not saying this is safe for every single person with mast cell I'm just saying these are things that I find safe or least reactive to and for me keeping into a routine with the same product products or product from the same like company is a very good thing for me basically i'm going to go through my morning routine not every single thing but we're going to go through my morning routine and i'm going to go through some of my favorite safest best products first things first tpn has finished so i'm just going to disconnect that so it's already clamped so i'm just going to untwist it that last night i did put up a story on my instagram and asked you guys what products you wanted to see and the number one thing was deodorant which i was actually really surprised at um i put up a bunch of little screenshots of people requesting it but yeah deodorant and toothpaste and face wash i think were the top ones so that's what we're gonna focus on which is actually really funny because today's video is actually sponsored by a deodorant company so first things first we're gonna head to the bathroom oh well, first things first is i'm gonna go flush my line and do all that i'm not gonna do that on camera because there's videos on my channel about that okay welcome to my bathroom i know it's a bit loud unfortunately you can't turn the fan off because well once i turn the light off the fan goes off so it just we're just gonna have to deal with that it will kind of become white noise in the background I'm gonna start with toothpaste because that's what I usually do first. I usually do my teeth first because I hate that film that you get in your mouth when you sleep. So this is the toothpaste that Tom has been using, right? Um, and this is what I switched to after I ran out of mine. This is the one that I was allergic to. So I had to whip out this little Colgate one that I got from my dentist a while ago. And it's in like the little care packs that you get, you know, you get like those little travel packs. So this is what I've been using until I go next to go to the chemist, which should be very soon, to get my meds because that's where I can get my toothpaste from. I'm just using it this this morning. I know I'm okay with this, I've had it before. And I was a bit nervous switching to this since I didn't have, it, have any of the other because I hadn't had this in some time. And that is when the reactions happen, when you don't have something for a while and you suddenly have it. That's when I've had most of my anaphylaxis episodes. Anyway, moving on. So I'm going to brush my teeth with the Colgate one. I don't really have a special toothbrush or anything like that. But what I tend to do, I literally just wet my toothbrush and then kind of run it around my mouth because it does have obviously little remnants of toothpaste from the night before. So I like to just do that first just to kind of like test the waters, you know, just for like 10, 15 seconds. If everything's okay, then pop the toothpaste on. Mm-hmm. You're all good. Teeth are done, next moving on to the face. I'm not actually going to use a actual face product today because I've been reacting a lot lately to all my normal face washes, which I will quickly just go through. Um, so the two products, the two brands that I use mostly, are Mario Badescu, it's my favourite ones. Um, I normally use the acne facial cleanser like set however I am okay with the lotion so I am going to use that later but I'm not going to use the cleanser and then the other ones that I've been that I use are the 4-3 beauty ones by Colourpop I think and this is just the gel cleanser and this one is the oil one 
but I mostly use that before bed. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna be using them today. So this is the Magic Face Eraser or Magic. I'll put up what it's actually called because I'm probably saying it wrong. Oh, actually it says it on here. The Makeup Eraser it's called, not Magic. I don't know where I'm getting the Magic thing from. I have this which goes round your head to get your hair out of the way. So, warm water. But if you're wondering what these are, I'll get to that in a minute. They're, they're um, like patches for like iron, vitamin D, like things that I'm low in that I can't take the tablets because they don't absorb, but we'll get to that. This was recommended to me after I couldn't move my, remove my eye makeup properly because I couldn't, the wipes I was allergic to like around my eyes and like the soap and I couldn't remove my eye makeup properly. Someone recommended this to me and they said you literally don't even need soap, like you don't even need soap like to take off your makeup, you just need like warm water and you just like rub it on your skin and it comes off. That's what we're doing, we're just rubbing my skin, not too rough because it's very sensitive and it does, it doesn't take much to set it off. So just enough to like clean it. We kind of do that a couple times. Then I have like a little pad, which is kind of like, a, got like a little abrasion things on there that's not too rough. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this, actually the Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. I don't really have too much makeup on now at all, but I just put like a little bit like across my face a bit. It's by Drunk Elephant, in case you're wondering. And then I'm just gonna dampen this, again with the hot or warm water. And then I'm just gonna gently like rub that over the areas where I put the cleanser basically. I don't actually think you need to put water with that, but that's what I've just been using to help like clean my face a little bit more. Because obviously all I'm using is pretty much just water, no soap. Even soap free soap, I still have issues with. And it also gets, helps get rid of like the dead skin, because I get a lot of dry skin that like flakes off and stuff. So this helps with that. And I'm just flushing just the water itself on my face. Like I'm just gonna get a towel dry my face. So next, moving on to like skincare, I take a little cotton pad, and this is the special cucumber lotion. Don't use a moisturizer because again, I'm reacting to those recently. But this, I'm okay with. So just my face looks a lot redder than what it is. Um, on the camera compared to like actually in real life. Obviously using that little scrubber thing does aggravate the skin a little bit but it, you know it would for anybody. So I'm just like that soaking and then to finish off I'm using the Mario Badescu little spray. This is the aloe, cucumber and green tea spray. This is something I've never ever reacted to like not even once so I'm just keeping it a staple in my care routine and hoping that like, you know, that's never an issue. I kind of like hold it at a distance, I do, and then just kind of just spray quite a fair bit. So I like to feel the moisture on my skin because I'm not putting any moisturizer on, so that's kind of like my moisturizer. Also in my bathroom, I also keep an EpiPen. I keep that in the bathroom because I've had reactions in here before, and sometimes, you know, when your throat closes, you need, you need like it right there, like, where's the nearest EpiPen. So we always keep one in the bathroom, there's one in the kitchen, and there's a couple in my bedroom, one in the lounge. They're all over the house. Now, deodorant. I've been using the native deodorant. Today we're gonna to be using this one, the cucumber and mint one. And this is like a dry deodorant. I don't like the wet ones. I, I definitely react to the wet ones a lot more than I do the dry. So we're just gonna pop couple buttons. I'm gonna go under and I just kind of like stroke it back and forth but so and on the other side and then what I do I get another pad. I'm just gonna spray it like a couple times with the spray not too much and I'm just gonna roll it over the deodorant a bit get off any little bits or hair or whatever like that so that's all fresh and then just roll it down a bit put the lid back on you don't have to do that, I just do it because I find that if you sweat in in the night or whatever, then you don't really want to... Something I did off camera was wash under my arms and everything before I use the deodorant because I felt like that'd be gross, like you wake up and then you're rubbing like night sweat into it. But yeah, I like to just wipe the top of my deodorant just so I know it's fresh and there's no like... Obviously there's probably a little bit, but it's... I have less reactions that way. I mean, I've never reacted to it, but I like to do it because it's... 
makes me feel better. And the last thing is you guys asked about like shower stuff and body wash. Um, but I think I might do that in a different video. Like I might do like a shower routine video where I kind of do what I've done here but with what I use in the shower because that's like a whole different set of rules. Yeah, I think that is it. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go get dressed. I think that's everything. Like I can't really think of anything else morning routine wise that I use. I think I might use like a spray but like I said to you guys, I put that on like over my clothes. And that is pretty much everything. And then the perfume I use is the Lady Million by Paco Rabanne. But I, yeah, I put that over my clothes, like my day clothes. I don't put that on my pajamas or anything. So I'm not gonna use that. Hey guys, so it's a little later on in the day. Done my nails. Um, I wanted to show you guys this because this is something, this is what I use to wash my um, clothes with. Yes, I still react to it, but compared to like my normal washing powder, every time I put, if I wash my clothes with just like normal washing powder, like I will break out in hives and rashes and get wheezy and sometimes you know close to the anaphylaxis point so this is amazing because i hardly react or i react a lot lot less so this is the one i use in case anyone's wondering what washing powder i use don't know if you guys can get this where you live but this is what i use sensitive pure clean no perfumes no dyes the bomb like the most i get from it is like a small rash and that's not all, that's not all the time it's very rare that i do get them and these are the other things that um, I was wearing on my arm. Yes, again, I still react to these. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see that. But you can see those little squares where <laughs> they were. But yeah, basically, I still react to them. You can probably see the squares of where they were last night. I had to take them off last night because they were starting to burn my skin. As you can see, those the two, I put, there was four on there, but two of them really were starting to burn. So I was like, we need to take these off. Yeah, but that this is what I had on my arm because, as you guys know, I struggle to absorb vitamins and things like that because my digestive system is rubbish. <laughs> So I've got vitamin B12, vitamin D and calcium, iron. This is like one to keep your skin clear, which I think has helped a little bit. Not major, but I think I'll give it another month. And the sleep one, which again has helped a little bit, but I probably won't get that one again. I might give it another month. I might buy another month's worth and just see. And I'm still waiting on my blood results to see how these have affected it and see now what, how much of a difference my levels have you know, if they come off or whatever. So yeah, there are a couple things that I wanted to show that I forgot to show earlier. So guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if there's anything that I didn't mention in the video or things that you want to know, then please leave them in the description, I mean the description, in the comments, and I will try and answer your questions and queries. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you all in the next video.